All right, so quickly, we will make this method or this uh, feature work, the add um, comments feature. So to do that, we make sure that our comments feature, our comment form is pointing to the uh, right store, the right URL. So we go to the, um, I have to just minimize that. We go to our controller inside the app folder, go to your HTTP, and there you see your controllers. Then the comments controller on the store. This is where we're supposed to write the method that will save the comment. Now before we write it, we need to just go and copy an already written one for store. So this is one we have for store. I'll just copy this. And um, copy. So I'll go to comments. Where is it? Comments controller. And then inside there I'll paste. Uh, because I'm lazy, I just want to copy what I've done before to work it out. So what we have here is we're trying to create, instead of company, we're going to create a comment. Okay, so we're going to create a comment. And then uh, we're going to say the comment has a body. It has a it has um, a user ID show. That's the ID of the currently logged in user. It has a URL that we can grab from the URL. And then what else does the comment have? Uh, we can quickly check out here and see that it has commentable ID and a commentable type. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy and um, right here, um, I'll just paste it here. Now we'll duplicate one of these lines and um, we have commentable type. And then of course, commentable ID. ID. So we're just going to quickly verify that these two fields exist in our comment form. As you can see, commentable, commentable ID. This is commentable type and uh, commentable ID. All right. Uh, this basically solves our problem. From what we have, once we get all this. We're supposed to ha make sure that comment is imported. Yes. And we're supposed to make sure that auth is imported. So if we come back, um, if we come back, if you're going to use auth in any me controller, make sure you import it. So we're just going to import the auth facade. Copy. So we'll go back to our comments and paste at the top of our method. So auth is now imported, so we can now make sure we can now use this easily. All right, that's settled. The next thing is we'll uh, actually make sure that it was implemented. So if it runs, um, that means comment was saved successfully. We're supposed to redirect to um, the the form that we came with. All right. Uh, with a success message so we're going, wherever we're coming from we're supposed to redirect back to it okay so i'm just gonna get this and say just get back to where we're coming from with a success message um comments added successfully but then if it's not successful just go back with an error error creating new comments this is simple, isn't it? So we're going to delete one return. And then uh, we're going to test what we've written so far. All right. So to test it, we have to check out our database. So I've opened my database and click on comments browse just to be sure that there is no comment. As you can see, the number here is zero. There is no comment in the database yet. So we're going to test by going to here and saying uh, today, I worked on the on 17 screens for the mobile app 17 screens for the mobile app um, here are the screenshots to the 17 screens All right, so um, of course the person is supposed to place the screenshot here. So we we'll click submit, and uh, it's refreshing. 
it should bring us back to this page with a success message if our code worked if not probably throw an error so we ended up with an error and then um, that could be most probably because um, because um, Laravel timed us out because I've opened the page for hours it has been open for hours so uh, what we could do is to refresh the page click on this oops uh, just go back this is the project to our hits enter then it refreshes our login and then when we log in we get back to our project two. so here we are in project two. I'm just gonna type it again so I completed uh, seven screens for the mobile app project this is just a sample of um, what the users will add and then these are the screens the screens okay so we click submit and um, it's refreshing so I got this error column body cannot be null that is because I made a mistake I didn't see it but I know you might have seen it so I said this to body but I didn't change this to body too all right so um, for refresh should work so it works comment successfully added the thing is that the comment has been added but it's not listed here because we've not written the code to display list of comments but if we go back to a database and click on under comments to under comments just click on browse let us see if the comment will be listed as you can see it is listed so our code to add new comments uh, worked and then it uh, successfully redirected us to the current page so what we'll do in the next video tutorial is to make sure that we list the comments that uh, that are adding up okay thank you see you in the next video